Welcome back everyone to another Let's Play series. Today we're playing Dragon Quest 3. We played Dragon Quest 1 and 2, we started the first episode of those. This is the first episode of our Dragon Quest 3 Let's Play. So it's called Dragon Quest 3, The Seeds of Salvation. That's a new, the new title that they're going with. It's a, you know the, that alliteration they got, they got to get in there. The blank of blank. They always call every Dragon Quest game that if you noticed. So yeah, this game came out in 1988 in Japan. Uh, it was one of the biggest games of all time in Japan that pretty much changed the entire way people see gaming. People lined up outside of the stores for like for days. There was huge lines, there was huge crowds, tons of people skipping school, tons of muggings for games. Like kids, kids got their games stolen in the streets for, uh, and it was uh, like they were running out of stock. It, it was like madness. This is this is the first time this ever happened in Japan. It like even Mario wasn't that big. So this is the original game remastered on Switch using SNES assets. So it's very similar to the Super Nintendo or Super Famicom version. So yeah, this game's great. There's not much more that needs to be said. Let's just jump right in. So Dragon Quest 3, create a new venture log. Venture log one, and uh, let me show you something real quick. If you type in Erdrick, it doesn't let you do it. It shouldn't let you do it. I just wanna make sure that they, they included this little detail. Uh, see, if you type in Erdrick, it doesn't let you type in the name Erdrick. So that was in, uh, present in the original Nintendo NES version. This game came out in, on the NES in America a long, long time ago, Dragon Warrior 3. You couldn't type in Erdrick back then, and you still can't do it now. So we'll go with my regular name. And in this game, you can actually choose to be either a male or a female, which is cool. This is the first time in the series that you could do this. So uh, obviously a male. Fast message speed and... Confirm. So this is based on this is based on the Super Nintendo version, and it looks great, honestly. I think this 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 version of the game was probably done better than the uh, Dragon Quest One and Two. Like it looks very smooth, and it originally looked like this on the Super Nintendo. So right now, I guess this is a dream or something, right? What's going on? Where are we? Let's investigate this cliff. Chief, can you hear me, Chief? I'm she who watches over all. One day, not long from now, you'll appear before me as a true hero. Before your journey can begin, you must teach me something. Teach me what manner of person you are. You must answer my questions as honestly as you're able to. Are you ready to begin? So, this is a personality quiz to, to, to determine, right? To determine your character's personality, which affects the stats and the way the stats increase. Now, I know how to get the best personality, but we're just gonna answer these questions honestly for the purpose of, you know, a more authentic playthrough. So, my, my true name, obviously my true name is... My true name. And... I was born on August 3rd. Yes, I was born then. So the sign in our world is known as Leo. That's why I'm a Leo. All right, now now she's gonna ask me questions. I'll answer these honestly. Do not dwell upon them too deeply. And, and answer swiftly and from the heart. So this is a personality quiz. When setting off an adventure, is it better to have fine weapons and armor than fine companions? No, companions are better, right? Obviously. You often wonder how magical it might be to soar unaided through the skies. Yeah, I definitely do. Do you envy the freedom of birds? Yep. You could be reborn, would it be as a prince or princess? Yep. Does failure prey upon your mind? Yeah. Do you find yourself unable to argue with others even if, though, even if you disagree with them strongly? Uh, nope, I argue a lot. Do you enjoy physical pursuits? Yep. Can even the most minor of matters irritate you? No, I do not get irritated. Do you believe that a promise once made can under, under no circumstances be broken? I'm very old school. I think a promise should never be broken. Do you believe in a power, a power higher than that of man? Yep. Interesting. All right, so this is the end of the quiz. Or not really a quiz, but... So let's see. I feel that I know you a little bit better now. So now let's move on to the final test of your character. Oh no, what's going on here? 
I was hoping I'd get this one, actually. This is the best one. The, be the best result to get. Okay, so... It looks like I'm some sort of monster. Oh. What in the world? Crikey, the monster! Help! So I came out of the well. Luminora monster! Come on then, you big bully! Let's have it! You, you can't get away from him. Do you think you're a chicken or something? So basically, you have to kill this guy. Ah, <gasps> blade neck. Okay, so I killed that guy. That felt bad. Now here's the deal with this uh, with this part. You can you you basically can run around the town killing every single person in town, and that'll affect the the outcome of what the result is. But to get the best result, you actually just leave. You leave without killing anybody. Watch, watch what happens when you do this. I'm she who watches over all, and I've seen what matter of person you are. Matter of person. It is rare indeed for one to be so powerful, be so kind. A dominant, forceful personality. Highly compassionate, putting all yourself in almost anybody's shoes. And you always have more importance than the hopes and fear of others than your own. Deep, deeply passionate. Thanks to this, everyone finds it easy to trust you. Wow. She just buttered me up. I'm an incredible person. Wow. You heard that? I'm an incredible person. The description has not currently become you. That you have faith that it soon will. Let me say it again. You are an incredible person. Damn. If you do not feel like one yet, you must strive to become one. That's some uh, good motivation. I'm sure you watch this overall. And I look forward to the time when you and I can come face to face at last. I wonder who that is talking to us. It's very mysterious. Our story begins on the morning of Chief's 16th birthday. Cooey, Chief, wakey wakey. <laughs> morning, my darling. It's time to get up today. It's a very important day. Look at me just sitting and bailed my sword out. <laughs> oh, the king. I have to go see the king. Oh, wow. I'm so excited for that. Hop out of bed, my goddamn sword. Oh, see the strength. Nice. Go talk to Grandpa. Don't slouch or I'll make you hold my hand all the way to the castle. Alright, so heading off with Mom. This is the town of Elihan. I think that's how it's pronounced. Okay. Hmm. I don't think I want to go. I think I just want to leave. Yeah, I don't really want to go see the king. If you don't want to go see him today, he might never grant you an audience again. Is that what you want? Uh, yeah, I don't want to go see him. <sighs> Are you sure you don't want to go meet the king? Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure. Uh, don't get, don't go get in trouble. Nah, I'll get in trouble whenever I want. <laughs> she's sniffing. She's crying. Nobody knows about this that you could do that. See, I, I I discovered this a long time ago. You can piss your mom off by saying that you don't want to go see the king. This is choice in an RPG. They don't force you to do anything. I can just leave the town right now. Look at that. Yeah, I don't have to listen to anybody. I, I can just do whatever. You can do whatever the heck you want in this game. Isn't that awesome? So like, like you know, normally whenever you say no, the character just says it, repeats it over and over again to you until you uh, comply. You don't have to listen to anyone in this game. You can say no and walk away. That's isn't that cool? All right, let's go talk to mom. She's probably upset. Hey, listen, I'm sorry for being a jerk. Yeah, I'm still doing it. So the, the mom let you sleep. I'll talk to her again. Okay, so what if I leave and come back and talk to her? Oh, I missed my opportunity to say yes. Okay, so I'll go talk to the king. 
I'll go talk to the king. You know why? You have to talk to the king because you can't you can't recruit party members if you don't talk to him. So let's let's head off and, t and see what the deal is because he wanted us to go meet him. It would be very rude to not to not go answer the king's call call of duty. Welcome to Lionel Castle. Okay, they're both very stern. All right, let's go see this king now. Hi. Okay, okay, okay. I don't care. Ah, uh, so you've oh, so see the dialogue is different. He he thought that he's like, oh, you're finally here. We thought you weren't gonna come. Oh, we met before. The day when we received word of his father's passing, he was a true hero. Ortega, the father of the main character. His loss came as a blow to us all. It is what he would have wanted, and only the child is such a hero as, as he could have could hope to save our world. The foe that faces us is a dire one indeed, the Archfiend Baramos. Many of the peoples of this world do not even know his name, and his grip on our realm grows even tighter. He must be stopped no matter the cost. You must free us from, from the Archfiend's ever-encroaching tyranny. But alone, you will only meet the same fate as your father. Go and consult Mistress Patty. Use this to outfit the companions that she's less selected for you. Patty's pub. Alright, well, thank you. Thank you. He gave me money. That's nice of him. It's far too dangerous to go into the, the world alone. I should go to Patty's par planning place. Oh man, alliterations. They always put these alliterations in, in Dragon Quest. You notice that? Oh, this guy's a guitar. Oh, head west from the castle and follow the sea. Okay. Wow, they're already calling me Brave Hero, even though I haven't done anything yet. I'm just a guy who showed up. So I could probably save. Um, you you don't in this game you don't actually save at the uh, at the king. In Dragon Quest One and Two, you have to talk to the king to save, right? But in this one, it's different. Oh wait, what's going on here? Oh, the princess is missing. Where'd she go? Is that her? Uh, hi. Oh, why is she walking away from me? The stupid girl. Oh, she has a uh, like a, a speech impediment. I forgot about that. Grown ups won't let me go outside because I think it's too dangerous. Archfiend fault. Oh, she hates him. He's more perceptive than he looks. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's that's funny. Oh, what's this soldier doing here? Oh, Ortega inspired him. Believes that Ortega is still alive. Well, so Ortega is the main character's father. He died, and you're supposed to take out, uh, control. Castle dungeon. Come on. Oh, there's a en exit out here. Well, I'm really. There's a. Okay, that door's locked. Maybe we can come back later if we find a key or something. You can see the world is really, really deep and complex in this game. It's there's a lot to do. This game, right? Is the best out of the order trilogy. It's it's hands down better than Dragon Quest One, Two. It, it's way better than them. It's so much more fun. So anyway, uh, a lot of these doors I can't even open. So I just or I'll talk to that old man down there. I know it's kind of a bummer that I'm talking to everybody, but you got to talk to people to see what the hell what the heck's going on. That's how you get the lore. Okay, the that wily thief Kirk Buzzer came up here with a key that can open any normal lock in existence. With one of those in your pocket, you could come through and go the. Door races the world as you please. Well, that was useful information. There's a guy with a key. He stole a key that lets you open any door. That's very useful. You could break into anybody's house with that. All right, I'm gonna go around here and then we'll leave. Then we'll leave this place. Cave on the promontory leads to the Dreamer's Tower. How, how about that? There's a cave that leads, leads to the Dreamer's Tower. Alright, so we'll get the heck out of here. I keep forgetting where the exit is. Okay, uh, we'll, we'll leave at the front. This game genuinely looks fantastic. I thought uh, the first two didn't look that great uh, on the Switch, 
Because I mean, I'm playing all three of them. This looks really great. This looks awesome. I can't believe this is finally on the Switch, this game. Hi. If you leave Channel Wander around for long enough, it'll eventually get dark. And when that happens, you have to be careful because there's ba there's tougher monsters at night. Okay, so this game has a day-night cycle, uh, which is cool. It's It has a day-night cycle. When you come back and it's nighttime, it, everyone will be asleep. The castle will be closed. There's so much attention to detail in this game. But anyway, we should head over to Patty's Pub. Oh, there's a village called Village of Reva to the north. We should keep that in mind for the future. All right, this is Patty's Pub. This is, must be the uh, the bank. So I don't have any money. Nah, I, I don't have enough money. Okay, um... All right, so you gotta recruit people first. And that, that nun right there, she's gonna save for me. So what we do is we come here. I wonder what this guy has to say. You all got your, your martial artists, they're quick. Thieves are good for treasure hunting. And then there's merchants. Don't go anywhere near gadabouts. Useless jokey lot. They are a bunch of clowns. If you insist on having one, leave until you're strong enough to carry some serious dead weight. A gadabout. The heroes are chosen by heaven and souls. The sages are chosen by gods. Alright, so this guy, right? He recruits people. Pals. So. What you do, basically, is you... You, you create a character who will join you. You create your party members. It's not like the Princess of Moonbrook or the Prince of Canuck in the second game. You you can have up to three characters and they can have any name you want and they can look any way you want. So, oh, let's get Erdrick to go with us, right? From the original game. Yeah, I'm just going to show you an Easter egg. Erdrick, did you, did you, you did say Erdrick, didn't you? I'm terribly sorry, but Erdrick isn't just a name, it's a title. It actually means dwelling land in the language of the ancients. So when you call someone Erdrick, you're literally acknowledging them as the land's anointed representative its champion. So only the greatest of heroes are permitted to bear the moniker of Erdrick, and I'm forbidden to seek out such anointed souls. It's more than my job's worth. So that's a little Easter egg for you. So uh, let's create... I don't know. Let's create a, a martial artist. Oh, crap. We're going to create a martial artist girl, okay? All right, and this is a good character. Yeah, she seems pretty good. Oh, it's our lucky day. The special adventure program. So we have supplemental educational enhancement dispension seed. I get it. S E E D. So these seeds will give us boosts to any of the uh, the attributes. You see how how much customization is here? All right, so I'll do it myself. All right, so we have Seed of Strength, Agility, Resilience, Wisdom, Luck. The Wisdom Luck you don't want. She's a fa fast character, so you want to give her even more agility and even more strength. But you really want the agility part. You really want to make a fast character who kicks some ass. The Lone Wolf. Yeah, we'll get another person. Um... Let's see, what should the next character be? Uh, I'll name my warrior after Ragnar McRyan from Dragon Quest IV. Ragnar, okay. A male warrior. Yep. And I'll do it myself. He should be re resilient. Strong. Resilient. Strong. Um, strong. Okay, quite the thug. So these are different personalities. She was a lone wolf, he's a thug. And we'll make a healer now. So we're gonna name him Don. Kinda like that name for a healer. Priest. Now we're gonna do this ourselves. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna... He has a decent amount of strength actually. Um. Wisdom and luck, right? Uh, wisdom. Um, wisdom. And a little bit of agility, but we mostly wisdom. Slippery devil. All right, so that's a good that's a good starting uh starting party to go with. Let's recruit them now. So here's Patty, our friend. Right, let's pick up our, our friends now. There's other people here too. There's Linus, a warrior meathead. 
Is he better than Ragnar, actually? 17 strength, 18 strength. Oh, and 11. My guy's resilience is better, though. Um, Margaret, what's she? A priest? An acrobat. Interesting. She better than Dawn, though. Wisdom is 13. Wisdom is 7. It's not enough. She's fast, though. Okay, we'll, we'll recruit Terra. Um, we'll recruit Ragnar. We'll recruit Dawn. And there we go. There's our party. Our buddies. Yeah, they're gonna hang out with me. We're gonna kick some ass. Alright. So, you, you can save at a lot of places in this game compared to the original. Every town has a save point. So, we should get some equipment before we head off into the wilderness. I don't even know where we need to go yet, but I've heard some rumors. Let's talk to some people. Time was a lion ruled all over the world, but came the wars and we lost a lot of young men. So this town used to rule the world. But how did- I thought he said nobody knows about who the Archfiend is. Me all this little girl knows who he is. Isn't that a little contradictory? Uh, there's a church. This is- okay, so this is where you, uh, what does she need to say? So we're on an island called Elihan. We're not gonna leave yet, I know you want to see me leave, but we have to get prepared first. Oh, what does he have to say? Okay. Oh, oh. Oh, this. Look at this. Oh, wonder what this is. Is a house down here? Well, that's very suspicious. Let's take a look at this. Oh, so, uh, there's somebody down here. Many thanks for dropping by. I'm trying to max out my collection of mini medals. If you find any, bring them to me. I'll ma ma make it maximally worth your while. So this is the mini metal king. He he likes mini medals. He uh, basically you find these things called mini medals, and then he trades them for cool cool stuff like weapons and stuff. Let's see what this guy has to say. Heaven knows why, but when I went to boss here, I got a strange feeling he was a king, and I had to protect him. That's why I followed him down here. You see. Oh, he's gonna protect the mini metal king. He's not really king, but he is treated like a king. Every game they, they call him a king. He's a, he's an obsessed king who loves mini metal so much. He's in Dragon Quest Eleven actually. Uh, not sure. it's not really a huge spoiler because it's not really part of the story. It, but uh, yeah, he's in Dragon Quest Eleven in some form. He's a, he's appeared in every Dragon Quest game since this one. Oh yeah, I was gonna buy stuff with the money that they gave me. So unlike Dragon Quest 2, you don't start off alone. You start off with a bunch of people, so... Oh, I am Ortega's son. Oh, thank you. Thank you. It means a lot to hear that. Okay. So this super stick... Uh, actually, I already have a copper sword. That's actually already really good. I don't have enough money for any of this stuff. I might as well just run off, you know. Yeah, let's just leave. Oh, what's that? A slime and a Stark Raven. You like the uh, the music in this one? That's pretty good, right? It's a slime. Attack him. Oh, I, 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 I don't have everybody set to uh, fall commands. Oh, that, was, that wasn't bad. We, we beat him pretty... We beat them pretty well. Alright, uh... Dawn should focus on healing. Terra, fight wisely. Ragnar, fight wisely. Okay, that's good. Now, that that must be the Dreamer's Tower the guy was talking about. But how do we get onto that tower? There's got to be a way. Let's... Oh, there's a lot of enemies here. Oh, they're tough. 
And as you can see, by making Dawn uh, focus on healing, it allows him to have his own AI to, to focus on you when you get hit. It, it works really well. All right, we're we're doing we're doing a good job actually. The enemy is defeated. All right, see that cave right there? Maybe there's something in here. Very suspicious. Oh, who should I attack? These unicorns look very difficult to fight. Thank you, Don. We're actually doing a really good job. I think they toned down the difficulty for this one also. Alright, nice. Terra just leveled up. Oh, and so did Ragnar. Wow, his HP increased a lot. Where, which way should I go? Up or down? Oh, there's a chest. Cool. Medicinal herb, nice. Ah, ambushed again. Slimes. Oh, we're doing a good job. Well, my, my team my team is well well selected as you can see. I'm, oh, I don't have a map. There's no map in this game. I thought there would be a map. Huh. There's no dungeon map, I know that for a fact. You need to kind of work your way around. Oh, Dawn's a lot of magic, that's not good. Well, at the very least, we're getting stronger. Now I just leveled up. Wayfarer's clothes. Oh, can I wear that? How does Ra how does Don have a higher defense than him? Okay, let's let's move on worse. Oh, up here. Oh, this must be some sort of tower. Oh wow. Cody. How much, how much do I have? 116 gold, which means I should probably, I should go back to town and, and uh, regroup. Oh, I'm on the island. So th the way to, the way to get to that little island is through like a underground passage. We're gonna go back to town because I need to get some medicinal herbs so that we can keep healing ourselves while we move through the the tower. A oh, nice Ragnar's leveled up. Okay, cool. 
Head up through here. A lot of slimes. We're almost out of line then. We can rust up when we get there. You don't need to actually go to the end when you go there. All you need to do is just go to home and then your mom will take care of you. Oh nice, level 3 for Don. The MP increased a lot. We learned poof. Alright, so we'll head back home. Nice little house in the corner. Often. <laughs> I'll talk you. What's that? Of course your little friends can stay too. The more the merrier. Good night, children. Okay, cool. So she see she she let my friends stay. <laughs> your little friends. It's like they're it's like they're having like a sleepover and they're always like there's like, they're like these warrior people <laughs> with like swords and and armor. That's funny. Okay, um, yeah, let's... I could probably... Ragnar could use that. He could use that. He could definitely use that. Um... I gotta sell some stuff now. Make Pharaoh's clothes. Oh, Don can wear those, actually. Open club. That would be good for Don, actually. Yeah. Alright. That would be good for him also. And we can use the Seed of Strength on one of these guys. Um, use it on myself. Or actually, let's use it on her. I should be able to transfer this to somebody. Uh, that's not good, that's not good, that's not good. Alright, I'll sell one of these open clubs to him. Okay, anything else? Is there anything else I can buy from him? I think it's best to buy some medicinal herbs now and just move on. Move, move back to the cave. All right, medicinal herb. Um, yeah, I'll put it in the bag. All right, that should be good. We should be set to go. Going back down to the cave now. All right, so attack the slimes now. Nice, we all we all killed one each. Terror's tough and she's not even holding a weapon and she's just kicking she's destroying them with her fists. Imagine what'll happen when she gets a weapon. Alright. Back into the cave now. I think I remember how to get through here.
They're doing really well. You don't. Don has a lot of magic now. He has 30 MP. Wow. Tara just leveled up. One of my strongest characters. Alright. We'd agree to go up. And... I want to check out what's here. More Stark Ravens. These guys are in Dragon Quest XI. Yeah, we're, we're doing well. We're doing a good job. It's we're, we're, We've gotten tough. Alright, moving onwards. Very narrow passageway. Oh, was it just a loop around? It wasn't just a loop around, was it? That would suck if it was. Oh, there's, there's a chest. But it was just a loop around. 56 gold? Eh. Not bad. Alright, here. There's a staircase. I wonder what's in the far right. Oh, ant eaters. Or ant nibblers. <laughs> Oh, Ragnar just to uh, increase level. Oh, staircase. Oh, this is... Th this is the, the castle. This is ca Castle Laihan. Right? This is, the, this is their dungeon. That's where it leads. There's a, a twist and turn so much this game. There, there's like hidden passageways. I didn't realize that. So there's there shortcuts and things like that, like a Metroidvania kind of. Oh, I just learned Frizz? So I have a spell now. Well, we can use it on a boss if, if we ever meet one. I just want to explore. Th these must be the sewers. Right? 32 gold. Wow, before they even could uh, get a chance to hit us. Good job, team. Dawn's level 4 now. This door. It's locked. Maybe up here, though. Oh, what is this? That's a, that's a locked door, too. Where are we? Where is this place? Oh, this must be north. Which means... Another town. Oh, well, I got kind of sidetracked. There's a lot to do, though. Wow. This is Reeves, that village they're talking about. This must be north of Elyon. Oh, we could we could rest up here, couldn't we? Door's locked. Let's go upstairs. There's a kid up here. What's he got to say? Oh, no. You have to promise me you'll kill lots and lots of monsters. They got his mom and dad. <gasps> Alright, we'll we'll kill lots of monsters for him. Don't worry. Oh, they have good equipment here? Oh, wow. 
they do have new equipment here. That's actually cool. A chain sickle. Uh, yeah, I don't know about this one. Uh, it'll, it'll make Dawn really tough. Oh, that's great for that's great for her. A tortoise shell. It's kind of like Dragon Ball, isn't it? All right, training togs. Horse Tyra. Oh, there's a horse there. I... Nay. <laughs> you come looking for a wrecking ball. Hi. Oh no, I heard about the thief's key though, but I haven't gotten it yet. There's a, ca there's a cave. S Wait. There's a cave in the woods south of here leads to the Dreamer's Tower. I am aware of that already. There's an old man at the top of the tower who has exactly what you're looking for. The that old man at the top of the tower has the Thieves' Key. Diary of a Hard Man. Oh, I, I got a Diary of a Hard Man, huh? So I got... That's where the Thieves' Key is. It's at the top of that tower that we were l looking at. We should go back there and check it out. Let's go get some arm uh, some items first. A turban, uh throw that in the bag. Also, this game has unlimited space in your bag, which is oh, really nice. This game is just so much better than Dragon Quest 2, it's like not even funny. It improved everything. This is uh, this is an example of a game that took all the complaints of the original game and just improved on them drastically. Eight gold. Okay. All right, we'll head back to that tower now. Oh, this is. Let's head back down here. See what the fuss is about. That thief's key will allow us to get through that door right there. It'll allow, get, it'll allow us to get through any door we want. That will be huge. Cody. Oh, we're, 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 we're there. Okay, so... Time to head south. Staircase going up there, but there's a staircase going down there. There's chairs there for some reason. The Ant Nebulaires attack. Don keeps using this damn his magic way too much. You know, I'm gonna change Don's Don's tactics to uh, fight wisely. Cause he's he's wasting his magic. Oh, hello. Oh, he's got an in here. That's convenient. In, why is there an inn in the middle of this weird tower? So suspicious. Okay, we'll head ahead right now. Okay. If you fall off the edge, you'll probably f fall plummet. Oh, nothing in here. Ambushed.
Staircase, nice. There's another staircase there. I kind of want to explore a little more to find treasure, though. Let's head back out and look around for treasure, because I don't want to miss out on anything. Ah, see? Gotta hug the walls. Ah. E. Are you kidding me with this? Oh, nice. That that well, that wing will allow us to go back. Oh, they're too stunned to move. Well, that sucks for them. And Ragnar, our boy, is level 5 now. Oh, there's the old man. Oh, he's sleeping. Oh, alas, his chief is- he knows my name. He's dreamt so many times he gave me the key. One thief's key, you'll take it, won't you? Yeah, of course I'll take the thief's key. Wow. He just gave it to me. He just gave me the thief's key. There are books in this world so influential they can change your whole personality. Open them with caution, that's my advice. So he's going back to sleep. And let me guess, one of these books is here. The girl's own annual. Now, here's the thing. If I was a girl, I could use that book to make my personality more powerful with the current personality I have right now. But I'm not, because I chose a dude, so... Oh, well. <laughs> that would have been that would have been good to have. I didn't realize the personality system was in this game, too. I could just jump off the cliff now. Let's just jump right off. And we can now use this wing to toss us back to Alayahan. Alright, let's let's have some fun with this key now. Let's find some doors that can be opened that were never meant to be opened. Gotta be some some good secrets around here. All right, let's open this door. It should work on this door, I think. Oh, look at that! Just open the door. He's been here for ten years. He failed the exam. Mm -hmm. So, there's a book that makes people extra clever. And he didn't get that one, unfortunately. Can we open this door? Oh, we don't have the jail key for that. Ah, uh, we can open this door, though. Oh, who's this? Scientist? I recall reading somewhere that the seal placed on a teleportal could be broken by means of a wrecking ball. Someone was researching wrecking balls, weren't they? Oh, someone from, from Reeve. Oh, mini metal. Neat. The mini metal king will like that. I'm just looking around, trying to open those doors now, at this point. Is there a door down here I can open? Oh, there is. This is a shortcut. That's cool. Which means I can go to Reef from here. Good night. 
Our batter flies, they're done for. Oh no, they're hallucinating. All right, good work team, let's keep going. And I leveled up, it looks like. Not bad. There's that door. And there's some chests in here. Uh, I'll attack those toadies. Alright, not bad. Not bad, team. The like Dawn's another level. Seed of Agility. Okay, now here's what I think. I need that Seed of Agility for myself. Because I'm really slow. Increased by three, nice. Yeah, these seeds are really important. Ah, oh, right on the staircase. But we're tough. We can take it. And there's another jail. We need a jail key for that, though. There we go, we unlocked the door. There's like a pot here. Thing in there. Ah, Seed of Wisdom. Hello there. <laughs> yeah, I found a key and I'm trespassing. Get your hands on that, you have to be. Oh, so he knows, he knows who I am. Oh, he gave me the Wrecking Ball. So that those are, those are explosives. That was nice of him. No interesting books at all. All the people uh, of the lands on the other side of the ocean have been waiting for the hero of Elihan. Wow, the whole world is counting on me. Well, that was nice of him to give me that. What are, now? That's that thing you used to leave to leave, I guess? I, I'm not carrying a map. Where the heck do I find a map? Oh, there's an, a mountain passage here. I need to somehow escape this island. Alright, that's a new enemy. The Waspion. Oh, look at that. That's a new area we've discovered. Hmm. Unlock his door. Let's just look through his books. A book about boomerangs and whips. Whips and boomerangs allow their wielder to attack multiple enemies simultaneously. Whips can entire groups of boomerang will damage every enemy. Their attack power may seem somewhat limited, but they offer great advantage. A mini metal. A wing, nice. You don't have to have a record ball on your person, do you? Yeah, I do, actually. Get yourself down to the Path of Promise. It's next to a spring somewhere. Oh, cool. So... With the Wrecking Ball, we can go to this. Maybe that's the spring they're talking about. This is the Path of Promise. Oh, there's a staircase here. Very suspicious. Oh, there's an old man here, too. Welcome to the Path of Promise, youngster. You won't fool it and find too promising right now, but the only way to through is being blocked up. But I was told that the Wrecking Ball can, can help us. Where's that wrecking ball? 
Am I holding it? Ah, oh, there we go. I put the wrecking ball gingerly in place and stands back. That's kind of close. Oh wow, look at that. The whole wall is coming down. What do you think? And now it's being opened up, it does look rather promising. <laughs> and there's some statues here. A message seems to be carved rather haphazardly on the underside of the lid. Dear Traveler from Laihan, please help yourself to this here map. To take a look at it, you need to do no more than press, spelled weird, the X button. And another press will give you a closer look. May your journey be blessed with success. The Adventurer's Map. Now we have a map. Nice, let's get out of here. Oh, wow. This is the map of the world. That looks, uh, that looks familiar, doesn't it? It looks exactly like the real life world, doesn't it? Like there's North America to the right. There is uh, Asia and Africa and Europe. And right now, I guess we're on Australia. Or actually, the island to the left would be Australia. The island we're on right now doesn't exist. Unless you want to consider Australia, then the main character is Australian. Oh, you can even zoom in. Nice. Oh, that's a dead end. And if I go down there, I'll probably fall somewhere I don't want to be. Staircase. Oh, this is the staircase to come back up after you fall. Now there's another staircase. Probably shimmy across here. These guys are tougher. Hmm. I wonder what's here. Uh, nothing. Wait, actually... There is something down here. There's gotta be... Not for enemies, of course. Okay. Oh, this is really maze-like. I don't know where I'm going. This is... Oh, wow. That was bad. Dead end. Oh, nice job, Don. He's doing a good job for a, for a priest. That's where I came from. Oh, are you kidding me? I did go in a whole second in a complete circle. You just need to go up here. You, I think I just need to go north. Don got hit pretty hard. Oh no. <gasps> I died! I just got killed. Keep casting snooze. Wait, no, don't hurt Don. Oh no, we have to escape. Damn it! Dan Don's dead. Ragnar's dead. Ah. Sh 
Oh, she survived. Holding up the whole the whole team. All right, she can survive. We're just gonna give her all of these. Just gonna keep transferring these to her. That's enough. Look at her carrying off three coffins. The right or to the left? Better not be a dead end. I was, oh my god. It's a dead end. I shall okay. She'll, she'll destroy them. You can take them on. Oh, you trying to make him snooze? Punch you right in the face. Punch you right in the face. Wow, she's actually destroying them all on her own now. All right, she can she can hold her own. Let's go. Hopefully, there's a staircase. Come on. This looks promising. Ah, darn. She doesn't fall asleep ever. Wow, look at that. She's actually doing really, really well. That. Wait a minute, I did not just go in a circle, did I? What a flea. Damn it. Wait, is she gonna die? Oh, wait, I thought I could use my, my items. What the heck? Oh, I have her. I had her set to fall into not following orders. Damn it. Ah, uh, let's just save. I got really close that time. All right, we're gonna we're gonna keep going. We're not we're not stopping till we leave. But uh, I have a bit of an issue here. Our friends are dead. That's not good. Oh, there's a door over there, too. Go check out this door. Oh, there's an old man here. The wrecking ball is basically explosive. <laughs> I knew that already. That's some attention to detail. He, like, knows that you know. Oh, I did come here to see you. Oh, she's gonna tell me something in return. There's a thing called teleportal off to the east side of our little continent. It's all sealed up. A teleportal. That's that's what was there. Teleportal. Interesting. Okay, so the church is where you go to revive your buddies who die. Uh, of course, her. 30. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, Resurrect somebody else also. Uh, Ragnar. 30. Just bring him back. And now Dawn. <laughs> we'll bring back. That wasn't too expensive. We should go rest up at the end now, and then we can continue onwards.
are heading out now. Well, actually, can't I just use the uh, the thing in the basement to to travel upwards, up north? Well, actually, no. I have the map now. Mountain range to the right, which means I should just go. I should go to the castle basement and try to use their shortcut they have there. That would be a good idea. Or right, where's the dungeon? It's got to be around here somewhere. All right, here we go. This is the shortcut. All right, let's head onwards north, because that's obviously where we need to go. The monsters. There's no point in running, because you're, you're going to lose if you run. There's a shortcut. Should be right around this corner. Ah. I know this is really, really tedious getting through these caves, but something you gotta do. Alright, not bad. And our boy Ragnar is level 6 now. We'll just move onwards here. Alright, alright, not bad. In the mountain range now, through the through the valley. Wait, I have sizz. Why don't I just use sizz on people? Alright, next time there's a bunch of guys, I'll use sizz. I wonder if there's heal all. Hey, there is. We'll leave it for now, though, because I don't want to use up my magic. Alright, those enemies are gone. Hopefully we can get to the next area at level 5. Yeah, that's good. Level 5 is good. Oh, I learned heal! I learned heal, you know what that means? That means now it's time to do handy heal all. It was almost night time, you saw that? The day and night cycle was about to shift. Alright, let's go to this hidden passageway. At the promise, as they call it.
Alright, some prestigious uh, digators. Oh, crap, they're tough. Thank you, Don. <laughs> Let me heal Ragnar. Dawn did the, did the final blow. And Terra's leveled up. Nice. He's really tough. The, the female martial arts in this game is really awesome. And we're gonna have to sneak across here now. All right, you know what? Let's try a spell. It just phrases all I have. It's not good. Tara, of course, punches him around the face. Yeah, the, the martial arts doesn't even use any weapons. They, they just kick ass without anything. Nope, not through there. Ah, uh, this must be the, uh... This must be the way up. These guys are tough, actually. Gotta be careful. I'll heal her. Thank you, Don. See, she, see, um, his AI is smart enough to know that she doesn't need help, so he heals me instead. Okay, holy water. Cool. And here we go. Must be the place. Three different doors, only one way in. Oh, is the left one. Uh, that's a lot of bubble slimes. A lot of bubble slimes. the left door now. Killer Pillar. I love the, I love the name of this thing. Killer Pillar. It has really high defense. Well, he's dead. He's dead anyway. Ragnar is now seven. Alright, that must be the portal. Let's, uh... Let's jump in. Let's see what happens. Whoa. New area. Okay, I have no idea where I am. Some sort of forest? Wow. Whoa, look, at, look how far we teleported. We teleported all the way across the whole world. That's gotta be, uh, that's probably where Italy is, actually, in real life. I'm gonna wait for it to turn night before we go. Oh, wow, these are tough. Vladdy. Oh, you're not casting to buff. So that's a new area. Ciao and benvenuto. Welcome to Romaria, friend. This is Italy. All right, it's pretty quiet. It's quiet right now because it's nighttime. Oh, I wonder what's down here, huh? 
Oh, would you look at that? It's a secret gambling ring. And there's a secret gambling ring hidden in the weapon shop uh, bottom. Oh, hello there. What's going on? Hope you have a wonderful time in beautiful city of Romaria. Uh, she's pretty nice. Doesn't want to be distracted. If you want to place a right wager, you gotta go to the purchase tokens. That guy's call me cheap. Okay, this is basically where you do, like, bettings on monsters fighting each other. It's a secret gambling arena. In the, 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 D, in the Game Boy version, right? I was using, um, I was using save states to cheat this. So I was making it so that I knew exactly what would happen and I would reset and every time the monster, because the higher, the lower chances the monster has of winning, the higher, the more money you get if they win. And they actually changed that in here, so you actually don't get that much. The the rewards for this whole thing is not that worth it. We can check it out, though. 50 gold? No, I'm not willing to spend 50 freaking gold on, on this. We'll, we'll do it later. We have business to attend to anyway. Why are we here? What's, what's where Maria got for us? Oh, what's going on here? Just gonna barge ourselves into this tender family moment. <laughs> I'm gonna wake him up. Moonwork bulb, nice. Archfiend, he's no more than a rumor. He doesn't believe in the Archfiend. The Archfiend could be real. He's gotta be around here somewhere in this world. Hey, what, what happens if we go behind him? Oh, the door's locked. Hmm, just gonna ch check out all the stuff he's got here. A restless heart. The Eureka moment. Alright, cool. We'll read these books later. What else is in this town? else's house barge into there nothing interest interesting mini metal nice nice other hat people are asleep and we're like rummaging around their house that's like so creepy all right that'll help my me He really needs to, uh... Alright, good good for him. He has his little leather hat now. Oh, I can enter the castle at night? I don't usually like to do this at night. Oh, they were waiting for me. They know who I am? Well, let's, uh, let's explore the castle a little bit. Oh, there's a... I need a jail key to get into there. Just remind me when we get get the jail key to go there. Whenever we find it. Oh, what is this? Very curious. A lot of staircases here. Hello? His son, the king, likes to make merry above all else. He prefers to play than the rule. Oh, that's the king's father? Would I lie to you? We have a lot of books now. Alright, not bad. Hmm, let's keep looking around. There's a soldier, this must be the soldier's barracks. East, uh, to the east are beasts of great violence. Uh, so there's strong beasts uh, to the east. Uh, you travel north and hone your skills there. All right, thanks for the tip. Hmm, very tall tower. Oh, jail. Leave it out, will ya? How many times that's I I don't need no Rob I don't know Robin Hood. He's never even heard of him. 
Oh, what the heck are you? I thought you were on for one of those guards coming to give me a grillin'. Robin Hood. So Robin Hood is over at Skyfell Tower and is a gang of horrible... He has a gang of horrible henchmen. Give him an item for me, will ya? They blamed him, I guess. Robin Hood. Skyfell Tower. Okay. It's an interesting hint. Why would you lock a guy at the top of the tower? Why not, like, in the dungeon? Okay, so the king is sleeping right now, so we gotta leave and come back tomorrow. A oh, nice dog. Okay, um... We're in, we're exhausted, just sleeping arrangements. Oh, that guy's not here anymore. And there's the mom. Still talking about the Archfiend. I thought the Archfiend was, uh, not known. But people talk about a great hero from a place called Elihan. They say it will save us from the Archfiend. Can it be true? I guess they're talking about me. What's this guy up to? King of our country is... a fanciful man. I should be careful as king. Apparently the king is not a very serious dude. He kind of doesn't take his job seriously. Ah, oh, here we go. The king's quarters. I hear the songs of the wind, friend. Would you hear them too? Okay, you, you were not that good, okay? Wait, 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 wait. Hold up, hold up. He said something interesting. Far to the west of Cor uh, Corv in the north, the Skyfell Tower, which doth our skull doors. Far to the west. It's the northwest. That's where the, the Skyfell Tower is. Well met, Sion of Ortega. Your reputation precedes you. Oh, cool. Oh, thanks for saving my game. It was very nice of him. Oh, he has a he has a request. That despicable brigand Robin Hood has stolen from us from a sacred regal crown. Were you be able to return to us, you'd be prove yourself a great hero. Wow. So uh, they have a mission for me to to Robin Hood stole the crown. That's why his uh, buddy is in the uh, top of the tower. These are the Italian people. Well, the king seems pretty serious to me. I don't, I don't see what the rumors are all about. Let's head on. Let's head on uh, downwards and go find that crown. So Skyfell Towers, what the the prisoner said, and the the musician guy said that Skyfell Towers to the northeast. You see, uh, or the northwest. You you gotta use your you know clues in this game to figure out where to go next. Oh, right, let's check out what weapons they got. It'll make Tara weaker if she uses, unless she uses her fists. Bronze shield. Yeah, I'll carry it. Leather armor. That'll that'll help, I think. Don should wear it and equip it. All right, let's head on over and we'll we'll go find that that crown. The northeast is the, the northwest is what he said. Oh, the entire map isn't isn't all mapped out yet. I gotta. Huh. Well, there's a mountain range up ahead anyway. Open that door, no point. Magic key. Yeah, where's the magic key? What? He's not telling me where the magic key is. I have to go find it myself. That's stupid. 
All right. Oh wow, Toxy Toads. These guys are tough. Killer Pillar is what I'm attacking first. Alright, good job, team. Not bad at all. It's a long journey. Good job. That's actually really tough. Alright, good, good job, team. Putrefido. <laughs> Putrefido, that's, that's a funny name. They're like a zombie dog. Final level 6. Don's level 7 now. Learn Dazzle. There's a town. The west from, is, uh, from village is Tower of uh, Skyfell Tower. Find location. So the west of this village is Skyfell Tower. Okay, this is a new town with the new weapons. I could use a lot of this stuff. Oh, he's looking for a Robin Hood. So Robin Hood's at the top of the tower. We know that for a fact at this point. Hey, I'm not gonna. Oh, I'll get a, I'll get a room for the night. That's expensive. Boxer shorts. Who can wear those? Oh, you can equip him and he can equip him. The old man on the little island had to say. Years past poison needles sold in shop and village. It's a great weapon. Oh, cool. Poison needle. Thor's <laughs> telling him punching a head of a bear completely off. Uh, interesting. Wonder what happened at night. I'm here. That would be interesting. Maybe we should do a little bit of, uh, grinding. Foolish man of villagers and angered fairies and your opponent punish to sleep. Travelers tell a village of perennial sleeping people this is not possible. Sounds like a crazy rumor. Okay. I saw a staircase. I saw a staircase there. Yeah, I saw that staircase. Yeah, you can't fool me. Alright, what's going on here? Oh, his parents are gone. 
Check in the evening. Give life, nice. So I should come back in the evening and talk to this guy's parents. Era, she can wear that. Right, that's good. That's some good equipment. Let's come back at the evening and we'll talk to this kid's parents. Maybe they have something important to say. Or if they don't have anything important to say, I'm gonna be mad. Well, let's do a little bit of walking around and talking. Are you trying to increase my agility? <laughs> They're all hallucinating now. Nice job, Don. Good, good job. is pillar pillar Almost, almost done with this one. Wow, I keep missing that stupid uh, hallucination. Oh, come on. I'm not. I'm not going to leave. Okay. Jeez, that was the that was the stupidest fight I've ever seen. Nice job. All right, come on. Okay, it's almost it's almost nighttime. A restless armor. Oh, he's tough. He's really tough. Oh my, he's really really tough. Okay, okay. That wasn't a lot of EXP for such a tough opponent. I kinda just wanna leave. Okay, enemies blocking the way. Okay, no. Yikes, this is not good. Flee, flee. Alright, so that is actually a really tough place to go to. I didn't realize it was going to be that tough. Here we are. Alright, we'll, we'll rest up. I need to equip everyone with we'll some good stuff now. Alright. That, that would be really nice to have, but I don't have that kind of cash. 
sparring suit. I'm looking, I'm looking. This is really good equipment, but it's not stuff I can afford right now. It's really out of my price range. A savior? No. Alright, let's head over to that tower. Okay, okay. Dazzling him. Good plan. Oh, a heal slime. You're not messing around with a heal slime, okay? Okay, okay, good job. Um, yeah, we'll use this on Don. We're gonna attack that killer pillar. Right now we're just finishing up the killer pillars. All right, good job. This is really tough getting here. Okay, there's that tower. That's gotta be Skyfall Tower. Okay, that was nice. Crit critical hit. Oh man, this place. I remember this place. This is a really complex dungeon. Accumulus. Not bad, not bad. I gotta be careful here. Oh, I see. Staircase here. Maybe we can flee. When they're just on the move, you just, you just leave. Alright, so onwards. Let's see, where the heck? Alright, I see. All right, making good progress, going up the tower. So that Robin Hood fellow should be up here somewhere, and that's our way in.
These coordinates are really tough. There's a lot of tough monsters in this area. Alright. Onwards now. We're on the third floor, so... Where exactly is the third floor going to be? Maybe we can go around this corner here. Pillar Pillar. Uh, th this is tough. This is gonna be tough. What if I flee? Ah, they blocked away. Alright, let's use Medicinal Herb on myself. Him. On him. There we go. Ah, there we go. Treasure chest. Grab me something good, come on. Yes, a bronze shield. Okay. That shield is amazing. So, let's see. I I've already got one equipped. But, this will make the others really, really resilient. So, who could use it more? I feel like Don needs it more. He's got less, less equipment. Okay. Mongols. Alright, not bad. This one's tough. It's really tough. All right, let's see. You, that one for me, one for you, and that should be good. We're getting, we're getting, we're getting there. Okay, second floor. Second floor, not bad. Or not, not, not second floor, it's the fourth floor. Alright, let's move. We should be close. Jeez. Okay, thank you, buddy. Okay. All right, not bad, not bad. Oh, I learned Zoom. I don't need the, those wings anymore now. All right, so... Um, I think I should be good for now. Oh look, there's, there's some thugs. Oh, it looks like we got some unwanted guests here. Oh, they're gonna go let their boss know. Ah, oh, that was a waste. Oh, that must be Robin Hood. Fair play to you, you done right, alright making it this far, but if you think you're going to catch me with that easy, 
You got another thing coming. See ya, nya ha ha. Whoa, what the heck? Hey, what the heck? Where'd they go? They, they took all the treasure. Where they've gone? Wait a minute. Huh. That's where they went. With the treasure. Okay. Okay. This is gonna be a boss fight. So, yeah. Get ready for this. God, you don't give up, do you? Well, if you've been so bleeding desperate for a piece of Robin Hood, I'll give you one. Come here, you. Oh boy. Robin Hood and his Robin Hoodlums are here. He's tough. Why did he... Oh my god, he's tough. I didn't think he would be this tough. He killed. He killed Don, which means I have no. Uh, I have no one to heal me. Okay, he just killed me. I forgot how tough he was. Actually, defeat does not become you. Fortunately, I've been given another chance. Uh, yeah, I, I guess so. Which adventure log shall record? Romaria, I guess. Uh, no, I think we're gonna end today's episode here. <laughs> Yeah, that was a long Dragon Quest 3 episode, but you know, you get lost in this game. This game is amazing. This game is so good. You get so trapped in how the progression works and everything. It's just a really addicting game. There's a reason why it's so famous, you know, it's so it's that good. So I hope you enjoyed seeing it on the Switch. I really like this version a lot. I like it more than the, the first two games, especially on the Switch. And I think this might be uh, this might be one of the best the best RPGs you can get on the Switch, if you ask me. So yeah, uh, Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time when we continue Dragon Quest 3, Episode 2. Bye.